Yeah, that's right. And that demonstration was held here right outside of the Mall of Columbia. Uh, people told me that they're expressing their solidarity for the people of Gaza, and then they're also calling for worldwide help to prevent more innocent lives from being lost. holding candles and making their voices heard. A large group of people braved the rain and gathered at the intersection of Governor Warfield Parkway and Windstream Drive near the Mall in Columbia. They're honoring the civilian lives lost in Gaza amid the fighting between Israel and Hamas. We're also calling for peace and justice in the region. We're also here to call for an end to all U.S. aid to Israel and, of course, a free Palestine. This was organized by several community organizations and comes as Israel's war with Hamas erupts again after a week-long truce expired. We're now learning that Israeli airstrikes have resumed on the Gaza Strip and Hamas militants in Gaza are firing rockets into Israel. The destruction of apartment buildings, hospitals, refugees, uh, refugee camps and schools obliterate any semblance of moral warfare. Where is the line? The war in Palestine is just, it's just wrong. They, the, the people of Palestine, for the most part, are, you know, just trying to survive. Uh, they don't want Hamas there any more than we do. Francis Wee is one of the many who attended the vigil. He wants a permanent ceasefire, and he says it's upsetting to see the fighting continue. It's very disappointing, upsetting, uh, you know, it, there's... It's not going to solve anything. It's just going to lead to more deaths. Under oppression in Gaza and the West Bank. As they continue to make their voices heard, they're hoping that something is done so more innocent lives aren't lost. And so far in the war, more than 13,000 Palestinians have been killed and some 1,200 Israelis have been killed. Reporting live in Columbia, Kyrie Stewart, WBAL-TV 11 News.